Hello Queens, welcome back. It's Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm actually coming to you guys with another deep conditioner review. So um actually already started on my wash that you guys have already shampooed and um did a rinse out conditioner using Eden Body Works. But today's review is featuring Sultanicals and it is featuring their magical molasses deep constructor and you guys i purchased this over on my sultanicals christmas in july sale um video so if you haven't seen my initial unboxing please head over and click on the card up above or down below so you can see my initial unboxing and initial thoughts on this you guys but today i'm actually going to be trying this on my hair for the first time if you guys are not aware i am a type 3c for a naturalista i have been natural now for about two and a half years but have actually been on my natural hair journey for three years because i transitioned for six months Sultanicals, you guys, I have been seeing Sultanical raved about on social media for quite some time now, even when I was transitioning, and a lot of my curl friends over on Instagram are always raving about Sultanical, so when they had their Christmas in July sale, I just went ahead and took advantage. This is the actual deep conditioner and it smells so phenomenal you guys. It really does have that nutty scent. It reminds me of a body wash and body scrub that I used from Tree Hut and it smells phenomenal. Um, you pretty much can leave this deep conditioner on for 20 minutes or you can leave it on longer for even more of an intensive deep conditioning like treatment. Like I just stated previously, my hair is freshly washed again after using Eden Body Works. My hair has actually been like this for like an hour now, so hopefully it's not dried out and it's not, oh my god, it's so much water. Ah! Okay, so you want to make sure you have a towel just so that we can wipe your hands off with ladies. But we're just going to get actually into this review. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can get a clearer shot of what the deep conditioner will look like on okay, my hair. Okay, so this is what my natural hair looks like, freshly washed. It doesn't have any product on it. Again, it's freshly washed and I did go in with a shampoo and a rinse out conditioner. So this is what the deep conditioner looks like, you guys. It is actually of like a light creamy brown consistency, but it is so rich and it is very, very creamy. And I really, really do like that. I love the scent again. It reminds me of like a Brazilian nut even though it says molasses and oh my gosh it melts into the hair like butter. Oh my gosh you guys you know I love the conditioners that just instantly melt into my hair and that is exactly what this one is doing because every deep conditioner is different it does not act the same every deep conditioner is not the same I do not believe in that so that's why I feel like it is important to find deep conditioners that work for your specific hair type you guys just initial reaction just from applying it on my hair it is so buttery and it's so creamy it's like really really rich with oils you can see my hair is clumping up after just applying some on here and of course i'm going to work my fingers through here and finger detangle you guys and i just love the scent i love the smell of this conditioner it smells so freaking good it smells amazing like amaze balls like for real so I'm just going to continue working this in, but just from off of initial application, you guys, it has such great slip. It has a lot of great slip. That's what I like about this one so far. I like the fact that it actually coats every single hair strand. The scent is to die for, and I really do like how this feels so far on my natural hair. So you guys, I'm going to continue to apply this on the remaining sections of my head, and if I have any additional thoughts just from the initial application, I will actually let you guys know about that. But I'm actually going to let this conditioner sit on my hair for about an hour or so. Um, I have to edit a couple of videos anyways before I leave the house here, which is perfect because I can go ahead and finish my hair.
right, you guys, so I have now applied the deep conditioner on all four sections of my head. And let me tell you guys, I like this conditioner just right off the bat. I just like the way the consistency is. I like the texture of the product. It actually does remind me, um, in a sense, of the Allocate Naturals Honey and Sage deep conditioner. It reminds me of that texture, that feel. Um, except for the additional herbs that that particular deep conditioner includes. This one in particular smells like nutty goodiness. Like it really does smell good. It's very therapeutic. Um, it says that this remarkable black strap molasses deep conditioning mask is flavor is flavorful and full of strand nourishing chemistry. Formulated with strengthening, repairing, and penetrating ingredients, spring tresses back to life, creating a magical elixir certain to awaken your hair follicles. The perfect deep treatment for overexposed and weathered coils. So that was another reason why I actually picked up this deep conditioner is because I live here in Florida, it's hot and it's humid, and I'm always having to combat with frizz. Now, I'm not sure if this conditioner in particular will help with minimizing my frizz, but We'll find that out after I've left this on for about an hour or so um, because I'm just extra like that. And I just really love to decondition my hair and give it that TLC because again, where I live is dry, but then it's humid at the same time. Another thing that I liked about this conditioner is that it's not um, very perfumey and I'm really appreciative of that because the more that I try out other brands, I notice that some can be a little bit more scented than others. So I'm very appreciative, appreciative that this one is very mild when it comes to the scent. Now, as far as how much you have to use of this deep conditioner, um, you really don't have to use a lot. I feel like I do though because my hair is so thick. So um, I know especially in the back and especially up here in the top, it is very, very, very thick. So I always have to make sure that I apply a liberal amount of deep conditioner to those particular sections so I can make sure that they get the same TLC as all of the remaining, you know, sections of my head as well. But all in all, you guys, I really do like this deep conditioner from Sultanicals. And again, this is their molasses magical molasses deep constructor and you guys again i did pick this up over on their christmas in july sale so thank you guys so much for having this sale so i can try you guys out because honestly you guys you guys already know that i'm a naturalist on a budget i just don't splurge on a lot of natural hair products and um but this brand in particular i have been wanting to try for a while um because initially again i was introduced to this from yolanda over on um youtube and a couple other um beauty influencers as well over on YouTube so that's initially where I discovered Sultanicals but a lot of my curl friends again on Instagram you guys rave about it so much so thank you so much for raving about it because obviously it must be pretty good because you guys love it so I'm pretty sure that I will love it too and actually I do love it so far I just really do like the way that it applied into my hair and anything that melts into my hair like butter is like my best friend so um yeah so shout out to Sultanicals and their magical molasses deconstructor I really do like it you guys so just stay tuned and i'll show you guys shortly what my hair looks like after having the deep conditioner on for about an hour yeah you guys so it has pretty much been 24 hours since i have applied the sultanicals hair body soul friendly magical molasses deep constructor um deep conditioner mask you guys and when i tell you that my hair smells like legit cookies it smells like legit cookies and um i love anything again that smells good you know and especially any kind of condition that i feel i can leave on my hair overnight because you guys know i'm a naturally so who loves to decondition overnight i just feel it's just so beneficial and i feel like it's very very beneficial for your natural hair as well so i wanted to actually share with you guys what the deep conditioner looked like on my hair after it has been on for about 24 hours and so this is what it looks like thus far and you guys can see like I really don't have any frizz or anything like that I like to show you guys what the conditioner looks like on my hair after about 24 hours so as you guys can see my hair really does like it because it's actually like clumped up on itself in a sense like yeah I have some definition going on here and you can see that some of my frizz has actually been tamed um because again with having low porosity hair you always have to make sure that you seal in moisture in your hair and you have to always worry about frizz um again because our hair is low porosity so we pretty much retain moisture a lot better on our wash days versus going back throughout the week and actually doing refreshers i feel for my low porosity hair because anytime i have to go back throughout the week to actually have to 
um refresh my natural hair uh, if I didn't decondition overnight because usually that's when I have to refresh my hair is when I didn't decondition overnight because it's so frizzy with that being said you guys I really do like this deconditioner I'm getting ready to actually rinse this out and continue on with the rest of my wash day so I can go ahead and style my hair because I actually will have another video featuring Sultanicals um, pretty much because I'm using two additional products that I purchased from the Christmas in July sale. So Queens, I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out here with me today. Please let me know if you've tried this deep constructor down below in the comment section and also what other products you think I should try out from Sultanicals. Are they good for low porosity hair? Let me know and if it's products that are specifically geared towards low porosity hair, again let me know and then I may actually go out and purchase it so that way I can come to you guys with a full in-depth review so i just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today queens thank you so much i love each and every one of you and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye queens Mwah.